I can, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm uh, Zachary Canfern. Let's go to the questions. Uh, the first question, uh, why do we go top to bottom for time progression uh, and left to right uh, for low to high? Interesting. I think, uh, so the initial uh, thing I was copying, the, the, that initial app worked this way. Um, and yeah, I mean, certainly traditional music, you know, on a staff uh, does go left to right uh, like this. Um, I mean, going top to bottom does make it easier to add more beats without having a wrap, but certainly that could be managed. Um, yeah, I, I, I had not really thought about it, but it, it is definitely something worth looking into. Uh, yeah. You are now unmuted. Ah, good point. Thank you. Let me go ahead and do that. Uh, you are now <laughs> muted. Uh, the entire screen. Okay, so the screen share should be starting. You there we go. Unmuted. Cool. All right. Uh, two. Uh, will you play some other song? Um, not now. I can I can make some uh, recordings of it, or certainly you can try it. Um, I couldn't quite get the 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 microphone and the webcam and everything to work with the sound playing now. Um, so uh, I can record some. Also, please. Uh, I, I put a link at the. Uh, here in the uh, etherpad, uh, zck.me slash emacsconf2020, where you can go and get the source and you can try it yourself. Uh, there's no dependencies needed, so it's just all in Emacs. Um, so please, you know, try it yourself. Um, any chance for an Emacs tracker or mod player? Um, I don't really know what a mod player or tracker are, um, but I mean, I'm sure that would be cool. Uh, maybe there's one on Melba, I don't know. Uh, my musical background. So I've played various instruments since about the third grade. Uh, started a recorder, uh, played cello. I play guitar now. Um, but yeah, so just kind of random instruments. And uh, yeah, I guess it kind of some of those things influence how I think about music. Um, uh, yeah. Um, are there any open source musical instrument sample libraries that could be used? Um, Good question. I'm sure there are. Um, I don't know any that integrate really well with Emacs. Uh, one of the cool things that I liked about this is that there are no dependencies. Uh, you know, you don't need any external program to uh, generate the music. I mean, it, it does shell out to, to play, um, but that should be able to be done on any operating system as long as you have something that can play WAV files. Um, but yeah, it, it is interesting to kind of try the different uh, different sounds and different tones uh, that you could get with different instruments. Have I written any actual songs? Um, nothing super uh, uh, well put together. Just I, I kind of just been playing around with this. It's kind of, it, I, making this was one of those things where like once I made it, I was like, OK, now I can play with it. And I did a little bit and was like, I don't know if I feel like it right now, you know, which I've, I've, I've found that to be the case with some things that I've implemented uh, in Emacs where it's, I make it and then it's the kind of some of the desire to use it all the time goes away. But I'm sure I'll circle back around uh, at some point, uh, especially kind of maybe once I add in different tones or something. Uh, I guess a similar question for pre-recorded sounds. Yeah, I mean, if it's uh, part of what I did, what, what I wrote was a wave generation library. So if you kind of have the data um, you could use those and like chop them up and take certain lengths of them and make a wave file. Uh, so it, it's not plug and play right now, but you could certainly add those notes uh, to do it. Um, any MIDI, ma MIDI mapping possibilities? Um, I haven't looked into it, but I'm sure you definitely could output to MIDI, um, which is another benefit of having the multiple layers with the top layer is just like, um, you know, if, if the root note is this, we're just two semitones up or seven semitones up or whatever it is. Uh, it should be relatively simple to kind of switch out that layer underneath uh, from wave to MIDI or other things. Um, what were some of the challenges with writing a special mode for Emacs? Uh, interested in getting into this, not sure where to start. Um, there, uh, yeah, it's so this isn't the first mode I've written. Um, so that certainly, certainly that helps. Um, I actually... Um, 
I have a video that we recorded in, as part of Emacs NYC on making a major mode that's basically like starts from nothing and kind of builds up to an implementation of tic-tac-toe. Um, but so it kind of goes into printing things out and um, buttons and making the mode. Um, I mean, one of the best parts about Emacs is because it's so uh, configurable and so introspectable, you can start pretty simply and just kind of ask Emacs about things and then make one little change. Um, it's really, it's not that bad. So uh, uh, I'll try to throw a link up on that, uh, on, on that page I put up or e please email me for whoever asked this question uh, to get a link to that video. Um, or just look at look into the source code of this or any other major mode. Um, it, it's pretty Emacs makes it makes it pretty easy to extend uh, major modes. Um, and I think that's that's the last question in the Etherpad. So uh, thanks so much, everybody, for coming. You are now unmuted. Uh, thank you so much, Zachary, for your awesome talk and um, for doing live questions. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.